Hi guys, in today's video, I am doing this full face of Swiss Beauty makeup look for the Valentine's. Of course, feel free to add or subtract certain elements. Also, Swiss Beauty has an offer going on on their website where if you buy three blushes, you get this very cute pouch for free. So definitely go avail the offer. Of course, we are going to start with eyes first. I am using the Swiss Beauty Micro Precision Eyebrow Pencil. If you guys have been watching me for a while now, you guys know this has been my current go-to. I do not reach out to any other eyebrow pencil because of how natural yet bushy my eyebrows look with this. So I have prepped my eyes with the Swiss Beauty Liquid Concealer in the shade Medium Beige. For my eyeshadow palette today, I think I'm going to mainly focus on the Swiss Beauty 24-7 Passport Eyeshadow Palette. This is in the shade 03 Grand Arrival. I think this will make for the perfect Valentine's Day palette. Like you can see, it has a mix of all pinks and purples and a peach color and of course beautiful shimmers. So let's dabble into this. I also have this tiny little heart cut out because I think we can do something creative with this. Let's see how that goes. So I'm going to start by blending some colors in my crease first and I'm going to do that by keeping this heart in its place because when we remove that, of course it's going to act as a stencil so when we remove it, we have that beautiful clean cut out heart. Let's see how that goes. So on my Swiss Beauty eyeshadow applicator brush F05, I'm going to pick up this peachy pink and start with this because I don't want to fall into the deep end and then realize that I want to correct something. So I think this would be like the perfect eyeshadow shade to begin with. Now I'll be mixing these two shades, so the purple one and the dark pink one on the same brush. My stencil just fell off and we can see the shape is already happening. Now what I'm going to do is just diffuse the shade a little bit towards my temple. This time around I'll be mixing these two shades together to kind of like diffuse out the shadow up here. I'm gonna stop for a second and give you guys swatches of all the shimmers in this palette because like always I love the shimmers that this has got. For my lid, I'm gonna go ahead with this beautiful purple and I think I'll mix a little bit of this champagne and pat it on my lids. For my eyeliner today, I'll be using the Color Me Happy Eyeliner in the shade Wine Dahlia. I have pink as well, but I want something to really stand out. I think if I do pink, uh, it will all blend together and not really look different, different, you know? So here's a little zoomed out look. I think this can use a little bit more definition in the crease. So this time around, I'm picking up that purple shade on a flat shader brush like this and I'm going to define my crease a tiny bit more. I'm thinking of adding some embellishments to this look. So I have like this cute little bindi. By the way, this is a hack that I use all the time. If you don't have those rhinestones and the tools to work with it you can always use these tiny bindi which almost look like rhinestones okay let's see where we want to place i think i'm gonna place one here oh already looks stunning i think i'll do three embellishments i'm just trying to make sure everything is equidistant with each other all right now to take this look a little bit further and define it a little bit further i'm again using the color me happy eyeliner in the shade black midnight i'll be doing this very close to the lash line nothing too intense i know this side looks a little bit incomplete but we will work on this after we are done with our base makeup finishing off with the swiss beauty's precision lash 
long lash mascara look at that length you guys incredible so i'm thinking of defining this heart a tiny bit more with the help of the color me happy eyeliner in the shade 03 pink alp rose okay not bad not bad not bad at all okay great perfect let's finish the same thing on this eye as well and i'll be right back for my base now i'll be using the swiss beauty mattifying makeup primer this really nicely blurs out the pores and also gives you a very smooth base for your foundation application and i have a lot of texture on my t zone so i'm going to mainly focus this around there for my foundation today i'm using the swiss beauty airbrush full coverage foundation in the shade nude beige i think this is a very good match and they are not kidding when they say it's a full coverage foundation because you will see just about now that with little product very little product i'm actually able to cover half of my face and even stretch it to the other side of my face which is incredible so you will not be running out of this anytime soon for my concealer i'm using the classic swiss beauty liquid concealer i'm using two shades one for highlight and one for contour so i'm using the shade medium beige 04 for my highlight and i will make sure that i'm really highlighting my under eyes today because of course we want all the focus to be on the eyes and that Should really really pop if your under eyes are also really highlighted. And for bronzing up my face, I'm using the shade number one. Again, applying this only on the parameters of my face. This will add like a very nice warmth because a lot of the shades that we are playing with today is very cool toned. So it's very essential that you add some level of warmth to your face to really bring the whole look together. For my blush today, I'm using one of the most beautiful dewy blush I think I've come across recently. This is in the shade Mood Lifter Coral, and oh my God, what a stunning dewy blush this is, you guys! Let me give you a quick swatch. Look at that, how freaking stunning! I cannot get over it. So I'm generously adding this all across my cheek. I'll be blending that out. and then for my powder blush and yes i'm wearing my blushes today cuz blush generally fades out much uh, quicker i'm using the swiss beauty powder blush in the shade coral dream again this is also a very beautiful um coral color of course if you know me you know that i have to add some more glow on and for that i'm using the swiss beauty drop in glow liquid highlighter in the shade 02 gold let's finish off the eyes now so i'm going to take a mix of these three shades on a slightly thicker brush and i'll disperse it very gently almost like fade out the shadow into my temple now this trend of this you know almost like a vertical line across your eye was very viral uh, i think a few weeks back i never tried it but i think i'm going to give a spin off to that trend and do pretty much the same thing but on a much lower intensity for my lower lash line i'll be using the purple shade and diffusing it all across i'm not shying away here and last but not the least on my waterline i'll be adding the color me happy eyeliner in the number 11 rose camellia Yeah, this again will bring out the eye look even further. It's not particularly nude, but this is on the lighter side, so of course your eyes are going to look bigger. Now to set my under eyes, I'm using the Swiss Beauty Bake It Away Loose Powder. For my lips, I'm using combination of these two products. I have the Swiss Beauty Two in One Lip Liner and Lip Filler in the shade Spicy Rose. So I'm going to line my lips with this first and really just feather out the edges with my finger before I go in with my Plump Up Wet Gloss in the shade. popsicle all right so that completes the look i hope you guys enjoyed if you did then please give this video a big thumbs up subscribe to the channel and i'll see you in my next video bye bye